Backed with over 25 years of combined affiliate marketing knowledge and produced by CAP, AffiliateRevenue.com will be the strongest iGaming-focused affiliate network. With an aim to give affiliates the offers they need to be successful, and with reliable, robust reporting, AffiliateRevenue.com seeks to make it easy for affiliates to get the data they need and to get paid on time. Hey everyone, it's Warren Jolly with CasinoAffiliatePrograms.com, and I want to welcome you to today's interview with Sharon Engel, the CEO of Wilma Online. Sharon's background is actually in the biotech industry, where she worked as a scientist and biologist for many, many years, but her husband's career in affiliate marketing is what got her started in this business. Wilma Online generates high traffic uh, through targeted email marketing based on their extensive database of millions of gambling-related leads from all over the world. Sharon, welcome and thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much. Hi. So can you take a, just a quick moment and tell our audience a little bit about yourself and what brought you into the email marketing industry inside of iGaming? Uh, actually, I've been in the, in the industry for um, eight years or so. I started in, a, in an e-commerce company where I grew up and uh, learned everything. We managed an affiliate program in a relatively competitive uh, vertical. And uh, that's where I learned everything there was to know about marketing and managing the operation side of uh, an online marketing operation. Uh, that's, that's also where I was exposed to the vast need of monetization due to the huge amounts of uh, efforts and money and resources invested in, uh, in lead generation and traffic generation and uh, the huge efforts later invested in uh, uh, saving the sunk cost of uh, non-converting leads. So uh, that's where I learned about uh, monetization. And when I joined the, the online gambling vertical, uh, I learned more about the email marketing and the magic of it and the monetization of high volumes of leads. Understand. So um, obviously, in coming from a competitive vertical, um, why did you choose email? Why, why did you think email was the best uh, strategy to focus on versus, again, in any competitive uh, vertical, there's PPC, SEO, um, many different ways to monetize and, and drive customers. Uh, why, why was email the choice? I think email marketing is the most cost-effective monetization method for high volumes. It allows you to reach out to many people, if, and if done properly, it is very, very uh, precise. You can do a very targeted marketing to a very targeted set of audience in a relatively low cost, and you can really reach out and reactivate and monetize many people. Great. So are you uh, just doing email marketing inside of gaming or other verticals as well at the moment? Actually, we're focusing on uh, online gambling and the adjacent verticals like uh, a little bit of uh, binary options, Forex, things that are uh, relatively sharing the same audience. Okay. So in the um, iGaming industry, why is email marketing so important for both affiliates and operators? Email marketing is, uh, is the way to reach people who signed up and didn't, uh, didn't uh, play or didn't come and, and deposit. The thing is that uh, you can only engage with a person when he is in the site if you're doing uh, retention as, as it happens. And when you do uh, engagement in the site and the person is not coming to your site, you have to reach him. You can't call him in the middle of the day and say, hey, do you want to come gamble? You can, but it's less effective. Email marketing is the way to catch the person when he's open to your suggestions. The fact that somebody sees an email, which means the email got to him, and got, gets engaged with the offer, he opens it, he decides to play now, he has the option to choose. Email marketing, I think, is the most convenient way also for the uh, clients, for the leads themselves, to choose when and what to respond to in the online gambling uh, sphere. Great. So how does your business model apply? Tell us a little bit about it and also um, in terms of how you're monetizing the email data that you both have access to yourself and from affiliates, as well as the technology platform that you've built at Wilma Online to actually manage and deliver the emails. Uh, we have uh, data from uh, partners. Partners would be affiliates who collected leads 
through their uh, email, uh, through their uh, SEO uh, efforts, PPC campaigns, lead generation, call registration, whatever they did, collected gambling related leads. And uh, they're now either monetizing them or not monetizing them at all, or partially monetizing them. Another source would be forums and uh, tools, related tools like Blackjack uh, Calculator, Poker Calculator, all the types of uh, sites and tools where people uh, walk and uh, talk about online gambling. It can be forums, can be ebooks related to the subject, and uh, other sources. Uh, we take all this uh, data into a database where we enhance the data, we clean it, we annotate it based on uh, the initial information we got from the lead's owner, and additional information we collect as we move along and engage with these customers, what they like, what they prefer, if they prefer to get a message uh, on Sunday uh, evening, if they prefer it on uh, Thursday morning, if they like text or uh, graphic, if they like free offers or uh, high bonus, uh, welcome bonus offers. And uh, the, the last thing we do is we convert to them, we convey to them messages uh, from our media clients, mainly from casinos that have uh, promotions and we deliver these promotions to these leads. Whatever commission or uh, fee we get for this delivery, we share 50-50 with our uh, leads clients. The person who gives us the leads gets half of the payment that we get for uh, anything that's related to this lead. Great. And in terms of the technology, is it something you've built or something that uh, is publicly available? Uh, technology is, uh, is vastly ours. Um, monetization is basically uh, based on three main pillars. Uh, it's about getting the right message to the right person in the right time. Uh, having a targeted database, as we have discussed before, is the right person. And using only targeted database will uh, enlarge and ensure that you will actually get things uh, done good. Mailing will be good enough. Uh, getting the message has to do with, uh, with the mailing itself. We're using our own infrastructure, uh, on our own machines, our own um, uh, technology of database, of delivery, of campaign management, everything that we do we have control on, <clears throat> sorry, to the level of, um, of uh, actually monitoring the, the mailing itself, which allows us to be very much hands-on on what's going on and how good we're delivering. And also to deliver things at the right time. We have uh, maximum uh, Maximum results uh, is based on having uh, having the very right uh, statistics on what you're doing. And the last thing is having the annotation, meaning uh, as long as you know what the person likes and when he likes to get it, and you keep track of uh, people's engagement and response to your doing, uh, that's probably the, the secret of monetization as, as we're doing now. I see. So the obvious question is, if I'm an affiliate and I have 100,000 leads, let's say, uh, and whether I'm monetizing them myself or not, what would be the benefit of me bringing those 100,000 leads to you versus keeping them myself and just emailing them through some ESP that I license uh, and, uh, and do it that way? What, what, what's the lift or what's the advantage that you offer versus me doing it myself? You doing it yourself may be very good. You know, it's not, uh, it's not something that one cannot do. A person or an affiliate can turn into a very good uh, mailing affiliate. This is something that has to be said. Having said that, if you're going to use an, an ESP, for example, ESPs available today, there are several that allow uh, uh, online gambling data. I think that they were uh, detailed in, in your site uh, quite recently. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean allowing doesn't mean that uh, they give it high priority. They have uh, other clients of uh, lesser risk or uh, higher reputation, and they are designed to help these clients. So you might find yourself in a lower priority with your ESP, 
hence getting the lesser results. Another solution to, to use is uh, fellow affiliates who became uh, service providers and they're actually quite good at what they do. And um, the secret is basically that you will have full control and that you will monitor whatever you do very carefully. You might find that doing it yourself, that is doing the process end to end, starting with the uh, acquisition of uh, machines and IPs to the end of uh, getting exclusive offers to, to really engage and treat your, uh, your customers, might be too much of work to do. And this is where we come in. We actually have uh, the full funnel uh, um, set up. We have, uh, we've been working on it for a long time with a lot of money investment invested in it. And we now can safely say that we have a very uh, strong and stable gambling-oriented mailing uh, system. Our technology is mainly for gambling, which means that all our uh, tests, all our uh, spam tests, all our uh, spam lab, which is the, the whole uh, operation where we check the, the quality of, our, uh, of whatever we're sending. All our uh, infrastructure and IPs are all uh, breed for, uh, for gambling messages. And, and we have the know-how and the experience of the partners in the operation and the people who work here to actually do things. We, we believe we're doing it better. Just Great. There's no way to say it. I, I, I agree with that. I think it's costly and very time intensive, but thank you for explaining that. Um, definitely helpful for, for the affiliates to, to hear. Um, in terms of markets and um, just general results you're seeing, can you share any insight w uh, with our audience in terms of what's working best and what type of results you're seeing? Um, I'll tell you the truth. There's nothing like working best. Working best is the right offer delivered to the targeted person in a manner that actually reaches him and engages with him. So you can deliver uh, very few messages into a very small database in a very uh, far-fetched land and uh, non-common language and actually make a lot of money out of it. So I can't just tell you this market is better than others. It, it works, you know, whatever works best in the industry is good for email marketing. Um, but I understand you're asking about our own experience. Uh, we usually concentrate on uh, non-American, non-US uh, markets. We work a lot in uh, Western uh, Europe and uh, Australia. And uh, if we have a good database and we do our work properly, we can get anywhere between 5 to 20% open rate, which is the number that we're looking to hear. Uh, click rate would be click through rate from open which should be anywhere between five to fifteen percent. Uh, if it's less than five percent, we recommend uh, to our clients that we improve. Uh, they improve, or we improve the um, the creative or the offer. If we get higher than fifteen percent, nobody has uh, complained yet. And uh, this should be a thumb rule, but you have to understand that if you're using a less specific uh, Less specific database, and you're offering, let's say, if you're offering uh, bingo to casino lists, you will have less less response. You should expect anywhere between even uh, I don't know five percent open rate, three percent open rate, because the, the the offer is bingo. If you your subject line, the open rate depends on the subject line. The click through from open depends on on sorry, the creative and on the uh, creative the creative itself and the offer. So if you say in the subject line that it's a bingo offer and you're addressing casino uh, audience, you will have smaller open rate. If you don't say it's a bingo offer and you just say that you're giving money for free, they will open, they will not click. You have to understand the full metrics of what causes what, what makes the open rate improve and what makes the click through uh, better and make sure that you're addressing the right people because blasting everything to everybody just doesn't make sense, not financially and not professionally. So if you really want to have the, the really good um, metrics, you have to segment your data, you have to manage your data. The mailing is, uh, is only one component in the whole funnel of good email marketing. You have to have very good IPs, you have to have very good IP reputation, you have to have very good 
mailing system and mailing monitoring to, ma to monitor your system and its uh, reputation, its health, its uh, fitness. And then you have to have a very good database, targeted database, that you actually control and monitor and enhance all the time and clean. And you have to know who's doing what. So you will be able to segment it and address the people with the very right offer. Okay. And then you have metrics. I mean, that makes sense. Now, I think that you, you explain the funnel in terms of how to get performance out of the database very well. I think a lot of um, affiliates watching this interview in particular are, are wondering how do they build a database with their, with their traffic? Because traditionally, uh, in the gaming space, SEO and PPC affiliates, for example, they, are, they typically do a very weak job in terms of focusing on email because it's, it's unfocused for them. So I think um, there's huge opportunities, as we know, but how does an affiliate go about building a list effectively such that they can work with a partner such as yourself or even have a database larger, large enough to make it worthwhile for themselves to monetize? Um, let's even go one step back. They sure. don't even collect the, the emails. Uh, the first suggestion would be, guys, take the email. Give any reason that you can for a visitor that came to your site following your very, very uh, tedious work and hard work and costly work to sign up and give you any form of contact information. Email would be the simplest. You can take it on the phone if you can. Uh, if you can but people just don't have it in their minds to actually take the lead. So the first advice would be take the lead. The second advice would be uh, give an incentive, offer something, use good, uh, fresh, high quality content to make people want to engage with you. And when they want to engage, if you're writing a very good ebook and you're marketing it properly, if you're offering a newsletter, if you're offering uh, any kind of incentive, people will sign up. And they will sign up with an email that they will actually open and use. So uh, make sure that they want to do it. Give them a good incentive. Make sure you collect and document the leads properly. Uh, a, a good uh, documentation of a lead would be w uh, the timestamp of uh, sign up. That's the date and time, the URL and the IP. Don't forget these things. This, these things can uh, count as uh, opt-in information in, uh, in a can spam uh, environment that we're living in. So make sure that you actually take all this information and then you document what they responded to. This week you gave a very nice uh, bingo offer on your site and that's what they responded to and they said, we want these such offers every week. So mark to yourself that it's a bingo player. If you offer them a, a, an ebook on how to build the roulette, the, the roulette then no, it's, it's, it's this kind of player. If you're offering a, a book on uh, poker jobs, fine, it's a poker player. Don't forget to mention it to yourself when you later want to, want to engage with him. And um, you have to, to stick to your promises. If you said you're going to send them a newsletter every week, send them a newsletter every week. If you said you're gonna, uh, they're gonna get an ebook when they sign up, make sure they get an ebook, and do the whole spiel around it. Thank you for signing up. If you want to change your uh, opt-in information or, or opt-in uh, habits, do the whole the whole uh, thing around it so people will feel that they are respected and that they got what they gave the info for. So you believe segmentation is very important uh, in in any type of email marketing. I think segmentation is critical for a very simple reason. Uh, eventually, it comes down to money. Eventually, email marketing is about volumes, but you can't just blast around as much as you want. Your, your uh, preciseness will go down, your uh, effectiveness will go down, and your cost will go up. So uh, the more information you have, the more targeted your campaigns will be, the better metrics you'll have, and the best, better effect you'll have. So that you can do with uh, less mailing, you can bring more money. So I think one question a lot of affiliates have and what's scared them from getting into email marketing themselves is obviously the ISPs uh, are smart um, and the big mail providers such as Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, etc. Are, are smart as well. And um, gambling slash casino is the, uh, an industry that gets easily... Um, you know, bulk mailed or gets easily blocked completely. So I think the, the secret sauce here that no one's talking about is ultimately deliverability. 
and uh, and getting the message inboxed. So um, when I've talked to affiliates, I know they've always said, you know, email scary because the, when we send an email that has casino in it, we know that you know it's going to go to spam. Obviously, that's not the case. You're finding success. How can an affiliate um, maximize deliverability if they're doing email themselves? And maybe can you share some of your insight and uh, whatever secrets you're willing to share about about getting emails uh, inboxed in this industry? It is true. The uh, spam uh, spam filters on our smart and they're uh, targeting uh, gambling-related messages, and they are doing a good job. That's, that's a fact. Um, and yes, ISPs are committed to reduce the uh, rate of spam in their, to their clients, and they're doing a very, maybe over good job in some cases. But uh, yeah, you have to know what you're doing. Uh, we, we in, in uh, Wilma established a spam lab where we check the, uh, the opinion of spam filters on our uh, creative continuously, meaning uh, not only um, as we produce them, but also as we send them. Because some spam filters work on, uh, on a content basis. It means they check the email as it looks top to bottom, the header, the title, whatever you're using, and the content itself, the images, the, the words, the, uh, the uh, character of what you're saying, the, the explanation marks, where, where they are and what they mean, everything. And then they set a score. This score uh, relates to the email itself. There is also a dynamic score that relates to the amount of this email in the network, in, in very, uh, putting it very figuratively. Um, I'll give you an example. If you have a birthday and you send out a message to your uh, 100 best friends, hey, I have a birthday, I have a party, come to my house tomorrow. No link, no image, nothing that looks like uh, a promotion, nothing that says click here or uh, get or claim your bonus or 10 pounds, whatever. If you send it to your 100 best friends, that's fine. If you send it to your 100,000 best friends, it might be called as spammy because, you know, 100,000 emails of the same uh, structure is uh, fishy, as the spam, uh, spam filters might uh, categorize it. And you have to monitor and you have to know at any given time what spam filters think of your, uh, of your work. It has to do with uh, maintaining the infrastructure and the reputation. It's a tedious job. It is intimidating. It is uh, a lot of work. It's doable, but it is a lot of work and you have to know what you're doing. How we solved it? We did it. We went step by step. We built the funnel uh, stone by stone. We made sure that we have access and full control about everything so no one can have any influence on what we're doing or maybe, I wouldn't say damage it, but you know, just neglect it as uh, ESPs, for example, that you mentioned, might neglect our uh, unit because they they don't think it's highest priority for them. So we make sure that we have full control. We learn the, the, the subject and we follow the rules very, very carefully. And we do this day in, day out. It's not easy. It's not easy. No, I tr trust me, I know. <laughs> so what, what do you think is the biggest... <laughs> Biggest lesson that you've learned, Sharon, being an email marketer in gaming, what is the one single thing that you can share with our audience in terms of just, uh, again, the biggest biggest insight? I think it's all about execution. It's all about actually doing things properly. Many people, especially in our industry, talk a lot. They know what has to be done. They talk about what has to be done. But when it comes down to actually doing it A to Z, they don't do it, or they don't do it properly. It's about being able to execute every every tag in the book. Uh, you need great ideas, and you need great technology, and being innovative is excellent. But at the end of the day, you have to be able to do what you talk about. And I think you need to be data driven as well, if you're especially if you're trying to get into something like email marketing. Definitely. Great. And you have to be trusted. You can't cheat. That's something that is very very critical. You can't cheat. You can't cheat your partners, you can't cheat your clients, you can't cheat your affiliates, and exactly as you can't cheat the spam filters. You will be caught. So as long as you're honest, you can keep all ends on the right place. Great. 
Well, um, Sharon, I'd like to wrap up the interview. Thank you so much for all your insight uh, into into email marketing in this in this space. Not many people are again doing it effectively, so I think this interview has been very helpful. Um, if anyone would like to get in touch with Sharon, either if you're an affiliate who has a database, you might you might want some monetization help or uh, an advertiser. Feel free to email us at interviews at casinoaffiliateprograms.com, and we'll be happy to put you in touch. Stay tuned for future interviews with our gaming industry leaders. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Warren. Bye bye.